The custodian wakes inside her bath. The remnant of a perpetual dream plays behind her eyes. Who is the middle-aged cherub who begs her to never forget and to break the circle? And why can't she enter the main bedroom or leave the flat? Michael Parker gave up his dreams in his youth to care for his parents. Now they have both passed. The future seems like an alien prospect full of anxiety and gnashing teeth. He sells the family home and bids to rebuild his life by first buying a pleasant little two-story flat in Burstone the flat already occupied by the custodian. There they live, together, but separate. One summer's day, he leaves the bath running and rushes to the grocery shop next door. On his return, envisioning a flood, he sees the custodian for the first time, turning off the taps. Thus begins the forging of an unlikely friendship that turns to affection. But how does the living and the ethereal ever move to the playing field? Never mind to find themselves in bases. And who was the custodian before something trapped within the flat? Will either ever break the circle of sorrow?